All right, so for continuous bladder irrigation, so typically that's the patient where we've hand irrigated for a while, um, nothing is clearing up, or sometimes it's post-op patients, you know, post-op urology patients that'll be connected to this. Um, let's say you need to set it up yourself. So firstly, the hematuria patient will often have a very large bore catheter, and for CBI, it will be a three-way. Um, so this one's a 24 French that we'll be using today. And you can see there's three ports here. So um, you have the side that goes into the patient, and then you have your balloon port, you have the uh, middle that goes into the drainage bag, and you have this which connects to your IV tubing. Um, so normally you would use kind of a two-way tubing, that way it can spike into two three-liter bags. We only have a one-liter bag today, but just kind of pretend in an ideal world it would be three-liter bags. I'll set that to the side right now because um, it's important that your tubing has this blue portion on it. That way you can change how much water is flowing into the catheter. So this would be all the way clamped, whereas this would be all the way open. Um, so what you would want to do, um, obviously with sterile technique, get everything set up. You would go ahead and place the catheter into the patient here. I don't know if this will go in our model. It might not, so let's just leave it like that. We'll pretend that we fully hubbed the catheter. Um, now we'll go ahead and we will spike our fluid here. Right, so we've connected our um, fluids. We've uh, collected that to this port right here. Middle port being our drainage bag. This is our balloon port here. Um, so just as a reminder, if there is a need to hand irrigate, you want to make sure you're not hand irrigating through that balloon port. It would be the middle port. Um, and then again, this is kind of how you're control controlling the flow. Um, if you start to notice that the patient is very uncomfortable, um, kind of endorsing this pressure or even pain down below in their lower belly area, or if you're noticing that the catheter is no longer draining, that would be concerning for um, an issue with the continuous bladder irrigation. So you would want to kind of immediately clamp it so that more fluid isn't going into the bladder and then call urology and we can manage further from there.